for the next question we need to give examples of two functions where f is mapped in n to n and g is also mapped in n to n such that gof is on to but f is not on to. let us find f first so it is given f not on to and f is in n to n so we know f is on to if every image in codomain has pre image in domain that is i have domain here i have codomain here i have pre images here and i have different uh, images here so every so every image in codomain should have a pre image in domain since we don't want f to be on to let the codomain element one not have any pre image since i have 1 2 3 4 etc and i have 1 2 3 4 here so thus i can write x plus 1 because i don't want 1 to have any pre image since it is in n to n it is much easier now this is x and this is x plus 1 for x equal to 1 i have 2 here f of x equal to 2 for x equal to 1 f of x is equal to 2 for x equal to 2 f of x equal to 3 for x equal to 3 f of x equal to 4 for x equal to 4 f of x equal to 5 so all the elements except 1 will have a pre image and hence this function f is not on to but we need gof to be on to now every element in the codomain of gof should have a pre image in the domain how we can do this we can consider the function g of x equal to x minus 1 So gof equal to g of f of x equal to g of x plus one equal to x plus one minus one equal to x. Since I have domain, codomain for gof. This is in natural numbers. This also in natural numbers. Let's say if this is f of x, and this is g of f of x. If f of x is From one, two, three, four, etc. And the g of x is again one, two, three, four. For f of f, for g of f of x, for x equal to one. We get f of x equal to two, and the g of f of x. That is, here it is x minus one g of f of x is, and hence it should be f of x minus one. So f of x minus one. Which is one. So one has. A pre-image here. Similarly, for x equal to two, we get three in f of x, but here it is two. So all the elements in the codomain can be mapped to a pre-image in the domain, and hence Goff is on to. Note that here G is also not on to. Since it excludes one, this g of one equal to one minus one equal to zero. However, let us not concern more about this because that's not the question being asked. Now the next question: Given a non-empty set X, consider P of X, which is the set of all subsets of X. Define the relation in P of x as follows: 
for subsets a and b in p of x a related to b if and only if a is the subset of b we need to prove or we need to check if r is an equivalence relation so p of x has lot of subsets say e a b c etc so out of the subsets a is related to b only if a is the subset of b if a is the subset of b then a is smaller than b or a is equal to b now let us go for equivalence check reflexive check a is the subset of a it is true symmetric check a is the subset of b but other way around it is not true because if a is the subset of b a equal to b or a lesser than b if b is the subset of a then b equal to a will be true and and b lesser than a is also true however we know a is lesser than b not b is lesser than a and hence symmetric check fails transitivity given a is the subset of b and b is the subset of c then obviously a is the subset of c thus r is transitive however r is not an equivalence relation 